The best screen protector for your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus or Note 10 Plus 5G or the baby Note 10. Installation and review after my intro. Welcome everyone, I'm Techzilla, I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus or Note 10 Plus 5G. Now, Whitestone Dome did send this out to me to review. Little disclaimer, they haven't sponsored the video, they're not paying me anything for this, but I have used their screen protectors on a lot of curved display devices such as previous Samsung devices, um, Huawei devices, etc. It is a little bit expensive, but I will leave links in the description below where you can purchase this, use those links because it helps me grow the channel and potentially could give you a cheaper price if you use that. Now, it is I think around between 40 and 50 pound depending on where you buy it from. So let's have a look at the box. Full ultrasonic recognition, full clarity, full coverage, full filling, meaning the glue covers the entire screen. And it tells you to please re-register your fingerprint after attaching the dome glass. First thing to do is switch your Galaxy off. Okay, first thing, because you don't want it to be going crazy while you're trying to focus and install the glass screen protector. So in here, you've basically just got the UV light to cure the glue, which I'll show you in a little bit. Now this is a new thing. I haven't seen this before, but apparently you stick this to here and I'll show you how to use this in a little bit. You may get the glue to kind of go in that center part there. And I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible. So, some Chinese instructions. Let's have a look at the English instructions real quick. So, masking tape. <coughs> so masking tape on the speaker at the top. Connectors at the bottom. This is a quick look. You know what? Once the UV light included initially 15 seconds, for further 60 seconds at the top and 60 seconds at the bottom. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that too much. There's a little pack of stuff. Now, I'm not going to get into all this stuff individually, we'll come across it as we go along. Okay, then I'll explain to you what it is, what it does, etc. This is making a lot of rickety noise. That's the glass screen protector itself. So I'll take that out. I'll place it over here. Here's some of the glue. Some of the glue. Let's take that out. And it is a messy, messy looking installation, but hey. So, first things first, you wanna take any case you've got off your phone, making sure not to switch it back on. Then you wanna remove the plastic screen protector, which is on there pretty good. There we go, I've got it. How many of you like that sound? Next, place it in the tray, making sure the selfie camera's at this end of the tray, okay? That's what you wanna do. Next, take one of these wet wipes. Now if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, but I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. 
for you guys to see how realistically this can be achieved. So give this a good wipe. Get any grease, even if your phone is brand new, I recommend you still give it a good wipe, okay? Then use one of the microfiber cloths to give it a quick wipe down, just to dry it off. That's that done. Now you want to take one of these earpiece stickers. Now what I do is I line it up with this part of the actual tray you want to be careful here because if you go too far it'll interfere with the screen protector once you apply it Let's stick that down there it's pretty well aligned i think let's give that a quick wipe down Now this tray that goes on the top, you want to put in these little, these little foam inserts into here. This is basically to absorb any excess glue that might come out around the edges of your Note 10. Okay, so that's there. Now, Take a dust removal sticker and I like to just go around but be careful, don't press too hard because this thing is very, very sticky as you can see. Now just touch, lightly touch it around, pick up any dust particles and I can see a few on here. Because once this goes on, it's over. You can't lift it back up. Now that looks pretty clean. From what I can see, the reason I'm talking fairly quietly is because it's nearly 3 a.m. where I am. So it should go on, there we go, that's on nice and easily. Next, you want to take your bridge, just push down these pads on there, put your bridge in here, open up one of the glues. The blue lid, take that off first. Put it in here. Open the top lid. And that's when all the glue comes out. <coughs> you don't have to rock it back and forth. I just do that just to make sure all the glue that's possibly in there, that's caught around the sides, comes out completely. Now just move the glue back a little bit. There we go. Next, you want to put this key in here. Okay. Then you want to take a screen protector. Before you do this, just make sure there is no dust particles in here. That's good to me. Peel this off, backing. Place 
basic into the top tray like so carefully then you take this part this is new you push it into these two little grooves at the end keep in the center now here's the tricky part okay just bring some more light in a little bit you want to tilt the tray here slowly so this glue runs into this circle here once it's there you pull this tab out and let it do its thing so I'm going to do it very slowly there you go key out now let it do its thing let the glue spread evenly throughout the whole thing now at this stage do not play with the glass screen protector do not play with the tray don't press on the glass don't do anything be very very careful you want to wait till the glue goes right into the corners completely because if it doesn't it's not going to look good when it's complete They gently pick this thing off, put it down. Now you want to get your UV lamp. What you want to do now is do 15 seconds on the top and 15 seconds on the bottom. Do not do more than that, okay? I will warn you. So place this here. Make sure all the glues spread. Yep, it looks good. So 15 seconds, okay? I'll be back in a second. Right guys, that's done. Next, I'm gonna take this off. Always be careful with this whole thing. Then, I'm gonna remove your note 10 gently from here. Peel this off because you don't need it any longer. Move the tray and there's no glue gone into that tray. Obviously make sure you're using a very flat surface when you're doing this. Now you can see there's some little bit of excess glue on the side. So let me just put this down real quick. Take one of these cloths, one of these little wet wipes because I've got alcohol in them so it removes excess glue. Let it open up. Come on. Good. Now wipe the edges down, but do it in one motion like that. Now the reason I said to you, only do the initial curing for only 15 seconds is so that the glue is not fully set on the edges. Because if it was, you would not be able to wipe it off. It would be too hardened or sticky or whatever it will just become a right mess. And then do the same for this side. Do the same for the top. And the same for the bottom. we're going to do one minute on the bottom one minute at the top with the UV lamp again I'll be back shortly okay guys I'm back finished the curing process went perfect no issues, no bubbles, no nothing. I'm rocking the official 
Samsung standing protective cover with the screen protector. I thought I'd just show you that so you can see how it fits perfectly. Now, one thing you need to do, you go into display in settings, scroll down to the bottom and where it says touch sensitivity, increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with screen protectors. Switch that on because that will help with your fingerprints. I've also re-registered my fingerprints. Very, very smooth. No issue at all. Works perfectly. Clarity is perfect. Let me go ahead and show you the fingerprint sensor. No issue at all. As if I was using it without screen protector. Absolute perfection. Let me bring this in close so you can just see the cutout around the camera. You can see how it's perfectly, there's a little gap between the case and the screen protector there. That's normal, that, so this is compatible with cases. There's a bit of a bigger gap at the bottom, but again, that's normal. Just there, I'll try and get it in, you just about see it. The edges are more to the sides there. So there you have it guys. Any questions, anything you want to know, let me know in the comments below. I will be reviewing loads more cases for the Note 10 5G. So stay tuned for that. I've got some of the, I've got this one. One of my favorites, the Batak case. Wafer thin. Love this case. So if you like the video, smash that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you don't miss out on all my upcoming videos. If there's any cases or things you want me to review for the Note 10 Plus, shout out in the comments below. I've got all the official cases. I'll be reviewing, reviewing them one by one. So until next time, this is Tegzilla saying take care and peace.